Creating a custom empire can honestly be half of the fun of Stellaris. You can craft the perfect empire for any playstyle you fancy, whether it's a pacifist group of religious zealots or a military dictatorship set on building the perfect, fully operational battle station. But when you first look at this series of screens, it can be a tad overwhelming. So let's go through creating a custom empire together and explain what each screen is for. And if you're interested, I'll be streaming playing the empire created in this video probably right now on Twitch. So if you want to check that out, then check out the link in the description. Now, let's get into this. First up, we have the appearance screen. Different species have access to different options for traits, but for the most part, you'll be able to pick whatever you want, no matter what you look like. There are a few exceptions here, like machines, which are limited to their own specific list of traits, and lithoids, which always come with a lithoid trait. But if you get to the trait screen and find something is locked to a specific species, then you can always come back and change this if you really want. For me, I'm going to go for this cute little reptilian dude. Next we have the species name screen, and this is all purely cosmetic so you can call them whatever you want. You can also set the plural of your species as well as the objective, and you can also give them a biography for a little more flavour. This is only really important if you're planning to share it with others, or if you're really into RP. Finally, you can set the default gender for your species leaders, and choose from male, female, indeterminable, or choose nothing whatsoever. I'm going to call my guys the Septid, and anyone can be a ruler. The name list is another purely cosmetic screen. Here you can set the prefix for all your ships as well as the randomly generated names for leaders, ships, planets and fleets. You can set the prefix to whatever you want, but the other name lists must be chosen from one of the options. I'm going to go with SBC for Spacebound Craft and the Aquatic number 4 name list. Traits actually do have some bearing on your pops and therefore your empire. Here you choose what sort of population you're going to have and what they'll be good and bad at. You can have up to 5 traits but you have to keep them balanced with positive and negative to keep things fair. You'll notice these points next to each trait. These correspond with the traits points counter on the left and choosing a trait takes their score from your points and you must be at zero or higher to proceed. Each of the traits have their own effects and pretty much all of them are self-explanatory. If you do a bit of reading to go through and familiarise yourself before you choose. I'm going to go with intelligent, natural engineers, communal and non-adaptive since I want my guys to be a technologically superior empire that can use drones to make up for their lower habitability. The entire homeworld section is again pretty much purely cosmetic. The name and class screen allow you to choose the name of your starting planet and system, as well as the type of starting solar system it is and the type of planet you'll start on. I'm calling my planet Roccia and my star Fiamma after the Italian words for rock and flame. Don't butch my pronunciation in the comments, thank you very much. I'm sticking with a random solar system and going with the tropical planet since that makes the most sense to my lizard lads. The city appearance screen allows you to customise how your city looks in the background of the diplomacy screen. I'm going with avian since it looks cool. Now we're into the Empire section, and this is where things get more interesting. First up we have Origin. This is where you decide the backstory of your Empire and how they start out in the game. There are a ton of choices here, especially if you have any of the DLC, and you can figure out most of them by having a little read, so hop in and take a look for yourself before you choose. I'm going with Mechanist to go with my robotics focus from earlier. Government, Ethics and Civics is next, and this is where you decide your Empire's approach to most things in game. You can select up to three Ethics which determine your approach to war, other species, socialism and materialism. You can also choose to spend 2 points to become a fanatic of one of these options, which nets you upgraded buffs over the base ethic, but means you can't pick up a third. And finally you can choose to be a gestalt consciousness, which blocks out all other ethics and turns your empire into a group full of immortal leaders, pops unaffected by happiness, and a no retreat approach to warfare. This is the necessary choice if you want to play as a machine or a hive mind, and it's a really fun playstyle with its own list of civics, but not what I'm going to go for today. As usual, you can read through every single one of these ethics and get an understanding of what they do. Since I'm science focused and want to use robots, I'm going to be a fanatic materialist and a militarist. This will allow me to research faster, pay less upkeep for my robots, and make use of my technological advancement in wars. Authority chooses your type of government, and each one has their own specific set of civics you can choose, as well as their own base effects. You're going to want to go through each one and check out the potential civics to find the best set for your empire. I'm going to go with a dictatorship to allow me to play wider without as much penalty. As for my civics, I'm going with masterful crafters for the extra engineering, and technocracy for even more science. From here on out, it's all cosmetic, so if you aren't too fussy, then you can just hit random on all the options and get to the gameplay. But if not, there's still plenty of customization left. The advisor voice is just the voice you hear when things happen, such as engaging hostile fleets and completing research. This is another purely cosmetic choice, so just go for the one you like the sound of most, and even if you change your mind later, you can always change this whilst in-game. I'm going with the technocrat since I'm going for a tech faction, so it just makes sense. No great advance is made without great sacrifice. The empire name is of course what the empire will be called in-game, as well as the adjectives for members of said empire. I'm going for the Fiamma United Crafters, and the people of the empire will of course be referred to as the fuckers because I have a sense of humour of a 13 year old. Your flag is of course the symbol of your empire and you can choose the symbol, flag pattern and of course the colours and there are a ton of choices here. 
Ship appearance is of course what your ships look like, and depending on how much DLC you have, you'll have the selection of quite a few sets of ships. You can scroll through all the different kinds of ships so you can see how you'll scale later into the game, and I'm going with Fungoid literally because it looks cool. And finally we come to the ruler screen, which lets you customise your empire's starting ruler, among other things. You can also change the room in the background of diplomacy here, which is again cosmetic, but can make your empire seem a whole lot more complete. So my starting leader will be the randomly selected Archibald Cavendish, since the name is pretty poggers, and I don't really care since he'll die in a few years anyway, so it doesn't really matter. His title will be the Supreme Mechanist, and he can look like this and live right here. And that is everything. Are you ready to load up your game and play with your very own custom empire? If you want to see how the Fiamma United Crafters perform in an actual game, then you can join me on Twitch as I mentioned at the start of the video. I'm probably live right now playing some Stellaris as these guys, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd join me. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing, then head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Colonel Damners or find the link in the description. Or if you're watching this in the future, the stream will be separated into episodes and posted on the campaign's channel, which is also linked in the description. So that is just about everything. If you have any more questions about creating a custom empire, then just pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to discuss any more Solaris or you just want to have a chat, then definitely be sure to join the Discord, which is of course linked in the description as always. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel so you catch all the videos as soon as they come out. If you'd like to go one step further and support the channel directly, you can become a member here on YouTube, a patron on Patreon, or a subscriber on Twitch. Doing so gets you shout outs at the end of videos just like Adam T and Henry Tucker. I'm going to rework the membership tiers very, very soon to get more value for you, so stay tuned for any updates. One final thank you to all supporters, one last thank you for watching, and for now, I'm in Colonel Danvers, and I will see you next turn.